Hi guys, this is Dominic from Pick Nature, and today I will show you how to achieve this progress bar over here. And when we scroll down, it fills up, and when we reach the end, it will be full. So, how did I achieve that? The first thing I did is log in to my WordPress, which is over here. And I installed the plugin called Reading Progress Bar. So that's the very first thing. I will link the plugin in the description. So, what we did is, I adjusted the height to 20 pixels. So, if we do it 50, it's going to look like this. This is uh, 50 height, so this is what I changed here. Um, the foreground color is the green one, the background color is the blue one. Once again, guys, it's pretty straightforward, you can see it here. The third option is the progress bar position. So, the top is self-explanatory, it's going to be at the top. Then there is the button and the custom position. Um, I would not recommend the custom position as it's a little bit tricky to adjust it with the yeah with the red uh, positioning. So yeah, I tried it, but uh, I'm not a big fan of that. And I will show you guys in an easier way. But what we can do is we can specify where we want to show the progress bar. So on the front page, on the blog pages, on the archive pages. So I did the front pages and the blog pages. Mm, yeah, just for you guys to see how it looks like and. Um, we can also choose the post types in which it displays. For example, if you have a magazine or something where you have like long posts, it's useful to have this reading progress bar. But if you have like a uh, yeah, category for, I don't know, media pages and there is only one picture, it's kind of um, yeah, useless to have a progress bar on top. So that's why we can specify here. And yeah, so let's move on and let's see how it looks like if we set it to 20. So this is going to be this one here. Yeah, this is this already looks pretty nice, but I, uh, I would like this progress bar to be under my header here. So that would look pretty nice, I guess. So what we do is we go to our customizer, to a custom CSS, and we add this little thing over here. I will post this on my website. You can uh, get the link in the description. And as you guys see, it positioned it under my header because it's a, um, yeah, it's basically it's a padding of 90 pixels and uh, I added the box shadow in silver, this is this one over here and as you guys can see, one second, let me publish that here for a second. So as you guys can see, we have the progress bar here and everything looks nice and smooth and I actually pretty like it. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are interested in themes like this one over here, you know, just leave a comment and um, yeah, if there is a lot of people interested, I will post this template for you guys so you can download it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, keep it up. And if you want to know how to get a nice custom scrub over here, you can watch the video that is linked on top. Thanks.